Hello, hello, hello. This is Mercy J with Black Kids Creations, bringing to you art and creativity wherever you may be watching this from. With that being said, let's create! about the guests that I have on my show today. We have the mom, Latoya, and we also have the daughter, Zion. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> All right. Great. The segment of the show is called Guess What It Is. Um, and uh, we are going to guess what the project, because they I told them the supplies that they needed to have. Um, however, I never told them what they were making. And I'm not going to tell them until we get started with that. But before we start the project, let's get to know our guest. So, um, Zion, little Zion, how old are you? Six years old. Okay, awesome, awesome. And what do you want to be when you grow up? A teacher. Really? Do you know what you want to teach? Yes. What do you want to teach? Science, math and language nice very nice very nice okay and um as far as the mom latoya latoya um i understand that you're currently enrolled in school right now yes and you're also a full-time employee as well correct yes and you're also balancing having three four Four kids. Yes. Woo! That is yes. a lot. How are you maintaining your balance? Well, it takes a lot of structure, schedule, um, planning, and also family support. It's very challenging to have the kids online doing their schoolwork. Then I have a toddler. Then I have a baby, a middle schooler, elementary schooler and then I'm also taking classes online as well it's challenging but it's very doable and God's help wow that's awesome that's awesome so I understand you said you, you just said your kids are homeschooled so all the kids during this pandemic are being homeschooled at this time um with with the like how does that work for you like how you're able to go to school online and make sure that they're doing their online courses yes um I get up early I make sure that I have my schooling supplies and make sure that I'm ready to get on Zoom because we get on Zoom with our classes as well. And then I get the kids up. My husband, he's a great help. He helps get the kids together. We get the tablets out. We get the packages out, the pencils, the papers. We make sure they're all set. Feed the baby. Have the toddler. She's watching a program which is really um, interesting. It's like a circle time. Oh, um, really? Yeah, so she does that. And, you know, we just try to make it work. So you guys are blessed to be able to have that. But now, <clears throat> let's get into it. Zion, do you know what you're making? What are we making? We're making a... Making a, uh, wait, a bumblebee. A bumblebee. Okay. Mom, do you know what we're making? I have no clue. I'm going to go with what she said, bumblebee. <laughs> Caterpillar. So here are the supplies. Okay, the supplies that we're supposed to have, we're supposed to have our red and black paint. My paint is bigger, it's red and black acrylic paint. I, I paint a lot, so I have big containers. Perfect. All right, and your paintbrush. Let me see the size of your paintbrush so we can know what. Where's your paintbrush? This one? Yeah, that's a nice size paintbrush. Okay, good, yeah, the fatter one will be better. And then, of course, your cup of water. We have the uh, black and white construction paper. Okay. And then two pipe cleaners. What color did you want to use? We have Gold. sparkly. I think yellow. And 
and yeah, go. She's a go. Okay, fancy sparkles. I love it. I love it. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> yes, and then <laughs> and then I have my googly eyes here. Googly eyes. Yes, googly eyes. Oh yes, and of course tacky glue. Yes, can't forget that. Oh, and do you have your scissors and your black marker? Scissors. You need the baby scissors, mommy, for you. She can use them either one to work. And you happen to have a stapler? Yes, you have a stapler. All right. <laughs> All right, awesome. Okay. All right, and of course we mentioned the glue. Um, Zion and Mom seems to think we're making a bumblebee, and today we are making a ladybug. Ooh, ladybug. <laughs> awesome. Can you see the third camera in your view? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So this is what we're making. This little lovely thing right here. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so first let's pour the paint. Remember, a little goes a long way. I want you to get out your, we'll do one plate at a time, okay? And then you need to have like a piece of paper that you can put your paint on. Piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Or if you have an extra plate, that'll work too. I'm using an extra paper plate. All right. And you're gonna to need to put it, put the extra paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the reason, yeah, I like dip, I like putting on here instead of dipping into the container. Um, and the reason why, and remember, a little goes a long way, so you can see how much I'm using. I'm using a lot. Like that. Um, I like to put it on the plate or a piece of paper, or if you have a paint dish, I have a paint dish, but most people don't, so I just try to use what I think other people would have. Um, is because you need to be able to have to dip your brush without it being overly loaded because you don't want to make a thick coat because thick coat is paint. Take a that long up. time to dry. Now we need black. Yep. Right. Okay. All right. So remember, a little goes a long ways here. Okay. So. Okay. I'm gonna try to use the same size brush you have. Shake, shake, shake. So you're gonna take your brush and you're gonna dip it in the water. In the water. Dip it in the water. And then, what do you? What color you want to start off first? Red or black? What color you want to start off with? Saying red or black? Let's start with how about black? Black is wonderful. Black is beautiful. All right, so you're gonna take your brush, dip it in water, and you're gonna load it as such. Now notice I am doing this. I'm gonna pull it up close to the cam so you can see. You're gonna do the top and the bottom. Okay. Yeah, top and bottom. Right, and then you're just gonna start painting. You're gonna turn your, pet, your plate upside down so the bottom's gonna be facing you. And then you're gonna just start painting. Okay, I'll get. Oh, uh, the whole plate. Yeah, take the whole plate. All right. If you find that you're running out of paint on your brush, dip it back in the water. Back in the water. Right, and then you're gonna go back into the paint. Remember loading both sides. Front and back. And just keep painting. This part, right here. This part. Oh, no. It's okay. Now, for the viewers that are at home watching this, um, or if you're in your classroom settings watching this, uh, try not to make the paint too thick, okay? Um, and also, um, if you notice, like, some plates, because, you know, People put pl paper plates everywhere. Sometimes in, when they're in oily areas or areas that are not necessarily so cleaned off, like if you just place it down somewhere, it can get a little oil residue and it kind of makes the paint a little resistant to go on the plate. So. Oh yeah, you were doing it right there. That was? Yeah, it was. Oh yeah. Paint, paint, paint. All right. 
Painting is always fun. And don't worry about it. this stuff gets on your hands. It washes right off. Even the acrylic paint. A little scrub. And that'll do it. Spread it out too. Okay, artiste. Teach me. It's probably the perfectionist like her mom. Let me let me tell y'all about her mom, right? Yeah, I know her. Okay. This lady. Everything's on a schedule. Everything. I think she reads on a schedule. <laughs> like uh, not every. Really? <laughs> yes, we are live. Oh, all right. Yeah. When you're doing your strokes, and don't worry about it being so perfect, okay? Um, when you're doing your strokes, you may see a little streaks. That's fine. A big majority of this plate's not going to even be seen, to be honest. What you were saying to the viewers, Ian? I you said were talking to them. Yes. What did you say? I said. The ones who are watching, just let you know. The ones who are watching, they're going to get better at art. You are so right. <laughs> you are so right. They are going to get better at art because yeah. practice makes they're perfect, really right? Like to be an artist. <laughs> they're going to get better at art. And then they're going to want to be an artist? Yep. Okay. Right. They are going to be a Picasso. Now, if you're done with your plate, and again, remember, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. A big majority of this plate is not going to even be seen. Oh, we got a big, we got a huge plate. <laughs> oh, you do? Okay. You are painting the bottom of it, right? Yes. Okay, awesome. All right. I'll wait for you guys. Remember, Rob, you have to spread it down a little. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, now, for those that are watching this, if you get a chance to do this project over, of course, a fatter brush would be preferred. This is the uh, type brush. This is a, a 25 millimeter brush. These usually work a little better. Or if you don't want to use the brushes and find more comfort in like the sponges, you know, they have a, some the sponges that have like the uh, paint stick here like this, but instead of a brush at the end, it's a fat sponge. That will work too. Honestly, that probably would work better and faster. Um, just make sure that you don't overload your brush, um, your paint, so it doesn't come out really thick. All right. You know what? Probably second Yes. We got a styrofoam plate. Yeah, I have a styrofoam plate too. Okay. <laughs> got it. It looks looking nice. She said it will not matter if it goes in your hand because it's washable. It's washable. Yes, ma'am. That's okay. Oh. I have to be super black. Super black? Okay. Super black. I'm going to win. <laughs> but it's not a race. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to say that. Oh, you wanted to say that? And, and one we who, got it. The one who was are doing this, they can try the same thing. You're so right. <laughs> we did it. I wonder where she gets this bossiness from. That's why. <laughs> like, <have> no idea. <laughs> Great job. Edges. Okay. The edges. There yeah. you go. All right. Now you gotta make the black one. You all set? Take your blow dryer, put it on the low settings, and we're gonna dry the plate. That's enough time we're gonna invest on the black. We're gonna take that black plate and put it to the side, let it air dry, because we got to get started on painting the red. Okay? Okay. Mine's it, but yours is not, Mommy. It's okay. I'm on the Yours is not. Mm-hmm. 
All right, now when you, oh yeah, and by the way, make sure you clean your brush good so that your bread doesn't come out muddy. So make sure when you're taking your brush and you're dipping it in your cup, make sure you're making it touch the bottom, kind of swoosh it around. It's off? Yeah. It's okay. Let me see here. Am I doing this right? Put my hair here. And you kind of brush up on the sides there, drain it a little. Oh, wait. Mommy. It's okay. The red. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. That's all right, guys. We need another one. No, it's okay. How are we going to find it? Now, there is a shortcut. I didn't even think about this until after I finished the product. But the project, I didn't realize this. Um, they have those styrofoam plates that are all the way red, all the oh. way through. We can go on the those are hard to find. Yeah. Those are hard to find. You don't always see those everywhere. Um, you almost have to order them, and sometimes you just want to get the project over with. And plus, kids like to paint. So... Yeah. Oh, it's just on the top. Oh, we didn't need to do all that. Oh, that's good. A little dry. Yeah. We did it by the Oh, yeah. She's doing it. <laughs> so, Zion, since you've been home, what was the funnest thing you've done with your mom? Um, since you've been home, you know, we've been home from school and you're not able to uh, play with a lot of your friends. I know you have a lot of family, but what was the funnest things you've done since you've been home? I don't know. I really don't know, because we didn't do nothing that much. We just went places. What you guys do? I have seen on your social media, you guys do painting. Mm -hmm. You made. guys do. Uh, oh, yeah, we made pizza. Mm -hmm. Right, you make pizzas and s'mores. I saw you dancing on there. You guys are very active. Yeah. Very, very active. That's awesome. That's the whole point of me doing these arts and crafts projects, just to encourage family bonding, spending time with your kids, and doing creative things. Because since everyone has been home, the creativity has left for a lot of people and a lot of people are not thinking about doing arts and crafts projects and for the kids it becomes kind of drain. So you want to do something fun, right, Zayn? Right? right? But your mom, your mom and your grandmother, they're really great at coming up with ideas. For it's you. needed too. To bond with your children on a different level. Yeah. Natalia, Sarah. I always say to anybody, kids more than anything, uh, they, you know, you can buy them anything. But memories last forever. Yeah, because sometimes they play with cardboard boxes. I'm like, okay, with all those toys you got, you want to play with the cardboard boxes. Yes, Mommy, because we can make sports with it. Right, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my plate is done. She's finished, Mom. I will wait for you all. Ooh, ooh, let me pull it out. Um, next thing. Here we go. Voila. Voila. All right. So let's get the blow dryer out. Put it on the low setting. I'm going to do it. So we can put these plates to the side. Put your plates to the side. Put the All plates. right, so these are dry. And we can take our paint and we're done with the paint. So we can put that off to the side. You can move your cup of water just so it doesn't mess up the rest of the project. Make sure that your area from here oh, on is, is dry and no water, no paint in the workspace. And we are going to pull out our black construction paper. And by the way, do you happen to have your black marker? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, we don't need that just yet. I just wanted to make sure if I needed to cut out 
some dots or do can we draw them on? So we don't need the black mark as of yet. You're gonna take your paper Not and yet. you're gonna okay. hold it in half this way. Which way? Okay, so like right this. Here, Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And it wouldn't help hurt to actually use your marker at this point. Um, on the crease, not the part that opens, but on the crease, you're oh, going to, this, we're making the head. So you're going to yes. take your black marker and make that shape. Okay. That's my mommy. You can do it. Right? Yes. Okay, and then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut that portion out. I'm going to cut that part out. Okay. And if you open it up, you will see that you have the head of the, of the, uh, of the ladybug as such. Okay. All right. And so now you're going to take your googly eyes and your tacky glue. This one, my can look very good. For the sake of the viewers, I'm going to put down my white workstation so you can see this a little better. That's fine. Okay. Get the googly eye. Okay. Let the side open. That one googly eye. I like the big ones. They have different color ones too. I found some colorful ones. Yeah, I like that. Big ones. Oh, the big ones? Yeah, you can. I mean, this is, again, this is your ladybug, whatever you want to do. If you want to use small ones, you can. But wherever you want the eyes to go, you're going to take the glue and um, you're going to put a dot where the glue, where you want the eyes to go. Okay. And don't worry about if you see the glue ooze out of the eye, you know, on the side, because all of it dries and turns clear. Where do you want to put the eyes? Um, right here. On here. What part on here? You kind of put them close to the flat side, not the curved part. Because remember, we got to also add a little mouth. I'm doing another one and taking them. Awesome stuff. No. Awesome. There you go. All right. So we're going to set this to the side, carefully place it so that the eyes don't fall off, give that a chance to dry. And now we're going to take the white sheet of paper when you're done with what you're doing there, and you're going to fold that in half. Yes. Now, this part, you may want to use a pencil for this one instead of using necessarily a black marker. Uh, I don't think, no, we don't have pencil. Okay, we can use a black marker. We'll use it together. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to do this shape. I'm going to actually have the camera zoom in closer. And you're going to do this right. And then... Um, like that. You're going to do it right on the edge. You get it? Right, right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Because we're making a yeah, mouth. Paper fold. Yeah. Fold the paper. And do it on the crease. Yeah. Do on this crease. All right, let me know when you do that. And then let me see it when you're done so I can see where you are. Okay. 
Okay, well, okay, you did it. Okay. Let me see it. Perfect. All right. So you're going to cut inside the line, not not on the outside. You're going to cut inside the line because we don't want to really see that black trim on there. Okay. But you got to cut it out. Outside or inside? Inside. Yeah, I'm doing it inside. Okay. So when you cut it out, your paper will look like this. And we don't need this white paper anymore. That was the end of that. So you're going to have this little piece. All right. Yeah, we got and them out. And you open it, it's the mouth. So we're going to grab the black head again. Yeah, get your black head. And okay. see how it's going to go okay. right here? Giving a little mouth. So you're going to take your tacky glue, put it where you want the mouth to go. And you're going to place your mouth on there. You may want to kind of glide it around a little bit. That one. So that the glue can get on the ends and all of it. And again, for those that are watching, don't worry if you find if you see that the glue is smearing. That's what I love about tacky glue. Um, you may see that the glue is smeared here and you may see the imperfections there, but once it dries, you won't even see that. Okay. So now, let's get our plate. We're going to set this little head to the side. We're going to give it time to dry. Okay. All right. And we are now going to get our red plate. Is that one? Get the red plate. Is your plate dry? Uh, not yet. Um, no. no, it could be sticky. Is it coming off on your fingers? It's good. It's good. Okay, flip the plate upside down, and you're gonna take that same white paper. Unless you have a ruler, if you don't have a ruler, you can take the same white paper, and you're gonna pick the middle, and you're gonna grab your marker and draw a line down the middle of the plate. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh. What happened? Can't see them much. Can't see them much. That's good. All okay. right. You know, me and my, my version of center is interesting. I may have to draw another line. I feel like mine is off. You don't have to draw two lines if you already nailed it on the first try. This is the bottom part. <laughs> I really got to work on this. I did this on another project, too. Yeah, we're trying to draw another line, too. All right. Yeah, that looks a little better. That, that second one looked right. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors, and you're going to cut on the line that's on the center. Be careful about styrofoam because it kind of has a way of kind of snapping and popping. The reason why I wanted to use styrofoam, you don't have to. I just like using it because it's just a sturdier project. And ladybugs are so cute. You want them to last. Ladybug, like ladybug. Mommy. Come on. So you have two pieces. I hope so. I'm trying to hold it. You gonna hold it? Kind of high a little bit. I'm just making this just very, very annoying. So, you don't need a knife scissors. You can use a blade. What? 
a brain. Awesome. You did it. Okay. Now you're going to grab your black plate. Oh. Black plate is ready and it's dry. Okay, Here. awesome. Get the black plate. And you're going to take... This is the direction that the ladybug is going to go. See that? Ooh. All right. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Could we have... Um, could we have painted this black and kept the rest red? Yes, but it becomes a little intricate because then you have to worry about portions drying and having the tape and this, that, and the other. We just wanted to make it a little easier, a little, little stress-free, more stress-free. All right, so you're gonna take one and you're gonna cover half the plate, right? Perfect. So you're gonna take one side and you're gonna cover half the plate. All right, I'm gonna grab your stapler. And this, this part right here is important. You're going to staple it's gonna come out the side. My stapler needs prayer. You know, I complain about this stapler and I still use it. This is amazing to me. I really got to do better. <laughs> I bought this stapler from Dollar Tree. He struggled. All right. You're gonna staple there on the side, yeah. not right in the middle, on the side. All right, then you're gonna take your other plate. On this side too. Not that, not that small, mommy. Oops. And you're gonna staple that one on the side. Think about placement of where you're placing it, how you want your ladybug to look. Kind of want mine to be a little wider like that like this yeah. Yeah. Staple it. now when you staple you'll notice that the staples kind of puncture through and that's fine make sure that when you're stapling for the viewers that are watching and for you as well. Okay, you see that part where it's got the three layers? You don't want to staple there. You want to staple here. Okay. Now, you may notice, see this little lift right here. And again, we like to make a sturdy project. So see the where it's lifting right there? Mm -hmm. Take a little bit of your tacky glue. Put a dabble of it. On the front? Like a little dot there. Right here? Yeah. We kind of hold down for a few seconds. You have to press down to make that stick. All right. And again, don't worry about the glue that you see oozing there because that will all dry up clear. All right. You know what I think I want to do? Now that I'm thinking about it, what I think I want to do better, go ahead, that glue is taking a minute to dry. Um, go ahead and take your staple and on that part that's lifting, staple through. So it doesn't lift. Alright. So now we have this head. Oh. Actually, let's grab the let's grab the pipe cleaners first. Yeah. Right yeah. now, if you notice that right here, you have because this is where the head is going, right? So your antennas are going to go here, and if you notice, there's like this little ridge right here. So you want to take your pipe cleaner, and you first want to like press them across, and okay. Where you see from, from the edge to this fold, you want to kind of take it and bend it a little bit. You get what I mean? So your pipe cleaner is going to look yeah. like this. Bend this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. So they're going to look like this. 
All right. And you're going to take your marker. That looks good. That looks good. Then you're going to take your marker or pen. And you're going to press down and you're just going to twist it around like this. Oh, no, close it. No. And the reason it. why we're doing this is because, as you see Thanks. on the ladybug, we have this little curly part. And that's how you get it curly like that. All right, and you're going to do oh, it with another one as well. Now you can do that. So it can be curly. And for those that are watching um, and tuning in, if you haven't got a chance to like or uh, subscribe to my channel, please do like, subscribe. Of course, I'm going to always encourage you to share. I'm always looking for families uh, to do special one-on-one -on -one projects with, and we post them online. I do private parties, so if you wanted me to do a party for your children, arts and crafts, or you know, just a special one-on-one -on -one project with your kids, I will gladly do that. All of that information will be in the description box below. All right, so now you have these little guys. All right, so now you're gonna take this, and again, you're gonna use your lovely stapler. And remember now, the head is going here, right? So you gotta think about where the antennas are going. You're gonna take it and you're going to staple it on the end. And don't worry about if the squigglies are going all kind of directions right now, because you'll be able to control that in a minute. We're just going to staple it. Again, this is where the head is going. Okay. I like doing step by steps because I want you to see the realistic version of how to do this project. Sometimes these DIYs that you see online go too fast and they don't show you the reality of how intricate doing certain things. All right. So you're going to take it and twist it in the direction that you want it to go. You can stretch these out if you want to. See, she said you can stretch it out if you like. You want to stretch it out. Yeah, and you can bend it because, you know, it's wired. It's, it's um, bend it. Okay, and now you're going to put the head on. Put the head on. All right. And how are you going to do that? You're going to do that by simply gluing. All right, okay. All right, so you're going to take the uh, tacky glue, and on this top part that's right here, you want to be generous on the glue. All right. When you first do finish with this project, it's going to be a little fragile. There you go. Okay, and you're going to try to. Now, when I say a little fragile, because it takes a little time to to for the glue to dry. All right. Hey, push it down. One, two, three, four, five. It's a little, yeah, it takes a little bit for it to kind of stick. The ends are the most challenging part. Oh, no. But it's okay. What I'm going to do also, I would encourage also always a blow dryer to kind of speed up the process. Put it on low. Okay. Put it on low. Because it is tacky glue, meaning that you need to make it get a little more stickier so it can actually stick down and lay. Okay. All right. 
There, one's on there. Before you adjust the uh, antennas or adjust them while it's drying, that way. Need to, so close. Okay. So let your ends sit down like that right there. All right. So while that is drying, and again, this the glue is going to take a minute to dry. Even when we finish the project, the glue probably won't be completely done. All right. Now what you're going to do, of course, with the ladybug, you're going to add these lovely dots, as you see here. You can make some big and some small. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to put some big ones. Look, look. You see, looking at the stuff. And some small ah. ones. More big, small. You can make this any way you want to. There's no wrong or right, right way to do it, okay? Small ones, too. Mm -hmm. okay. This is your ladybug. And you're going to fill them in. With the plate, can we do with the paint? Yeah. It's going to take a long little drive to do with the paint. Yeah, it's okay oh, if you see the start lifting this push down the end. You're going to see the head lift a little bit, but it, I promise it dries. The, the ends are the most important part. I'll do this side. But yeah, go ahead and fill in your dots. Okay. Hold on. I want to do the paint. Staying inside the line. And the one who are doing this, you had to practice a lot so you can get it. That's right. <laughs> you can always replay. Um, you can always pause on the video if you feel like uh, you're not getting this part quite right. You can always pause and rewind but I did want to give a realistic experience of what it is to do this project. Okay. That way it's for classroom settings. Uh, you can use this for anything, vacation Bible school, uh, private parties at your kids' parties. You can always use utilize this particular craft and this DIY that we do because we give the realistic perspective, oh, no, the realistic time frame of what it takes to get it done. License. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to miss any step. We want you to see the flaws and all in making this project. Well, I'm almost done with my dots. How are you going over there, Zion, with your dots? Good. Yeah. I was debating whether or not to tell you to get red or pink. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, well, I already told them to get the red paint, so we're going to stick to it. But yeah, you can use any color. And ladies and gentlemen, this. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks really, really good. Yay! You did it, Zion. I love it. It looks great. It looks great. Nice. Well, I enjoyed doing this project with you all. I hope that you have fun doing this project as well. It looks awesome. I love it. Please send me a picture of that. Send, send me a picture of that when you're when you're finished. But thank you so much for tuning in. For those that are watching, I hope you enjoyed this DIY. I plan on bringing out more content to you every week. And with that being said, you guys, remember that faith does not make things easy, but it makes all things possible. Be blessed. Talk to you later, Zion. Bye, LaToya.